So guys, today I've been exploring and found an incredible spot with a bunch of different effigies and a ton of egg locations. And since it's in a more difficult, higher level area of the map, a lot of the different powers that you can get from these eggs are absolutely incredible. And you don't need to be super high level to go there. All you need is a flying mount in order to get there and a little bit of patience and caution as you fly around from each egg and effigy spot as you go through. If you found any amazing egg locations or farming locations or power locations, tell us down below in the comments so we can all learn together as a community. But let's get into this farm. So if you actually check in my inventory, you can see I have a bunch of these smaller eggs here left over because I've already hatched the large and the huge egg that I got from doing this trick. The ones that I got were all fire, but you can also get dragon eggs there apparently. Uh, people saying that you can get the Jormantide, the giant sort of Gyarados looking, but it's black and red. It looks really cool. It's a giant Gyarados-esque dragon. But uh, for me, I got all fire ones uh, and they're absolutely awesome too. You can see here I got the... Uh, the bushy, which is like a yokai watch referenced pal, and this one's really cool. And then we've got a bunch of these uh, different flying ones that I'm very excited to get the saddle for soon to upgrade my flying mount. We've also got this really cool looking, um, I don't even know what you call it, like a fire horse pony to but cooler looking. And then for the huge egg that I got, you can actually see here I got one of the pals I've been wanting to get for ages. Blaze Howl Knocked. This thing looks absolutely incredible. Of course, they're only level one at the moment because I've just hatched them. But this guy having level three kindling, level two logging, as well as the other ones having things like level three kindling here, level three transporting. This guy having level three logging and level two kindling. These are also great to have in your base they can do a bunch of these tasks at a higher level and they look really cool and they're also going to be really good in combat if you actually level them up after hatching them so the first thing to know is that if you actually unlock a flying mount such as nightwing that i've got here which i believe you get the saddle for him pretty early on uh, if we just go down the tech tree you can see the uh the nightwing saddle I think I've gone past. I think it's up here somewhere. Here we go. It's level 15. So as soon as you're level 15, you're effectively able to do this and get some of these super awesome powers without having to be level like 30 or 40 before you can actually uh, normally capture them. We're going to just get them with the eggs because this egg spot is really, really awesome. But if you see here, our base is here on the sort of starting island, but I did a bit of exploring and essentially you make your way up here sort of um, past the uh, boss here. This is the fast travel point that I started on. And I essentially went sort of north and then west to get to the giant sort of uh, Mount Obsidian, I think it's called. It's, eff it's effectively a lava area. It's very hot in this region, so you might want to make some of the heat resistant armor. I actually didn't, especially as it gets into nighttime, it gets cooler. So you can explore this area in nighttime a lot easier because the fire won't affect you. But if you go around the outskirts along the water, then the actual heat won't affect you anyway. But if you do have access to things like this uh, heat resistant metal armor, then this kind of thing is going to be really, really helpful uh, for actually farming there and staying there longer. So it's up to you how you want to do it. But heat resistant armor is going to make a big difference. So you can either go like basically complete fly completely west to get here, or you can do as I did and get a few of the fast travel points along the way. There's also a really cool looking boss here, Beacon, which I'm definitely going to go and capture soon. But what you want to do is get to this Mount Obsidian, which is a giant sort of volcano, and go along the coast, along these from rock to rock, and you'll see a bunch of eggs and a bunch of effigies all over the place as you basically travel down the coastline. And these eggs can be common ones, they can be large ones, they can be huge ones, it sort of is RNG. The eggs are in set spawn locations to my understanding, but it, what egg you get is basically random. So you might get a bunch of large ones, or a bunch of small ones, it kind of is random. And again, you want to look out for those dragon ones if you want the uh, Jormantide, or if you want the uh, Blaze Howl knocked like I got here in my box then you might actually uh, want to go for a fire one, but obviously it's RNG, so it depends on what you can get. But one thing that's really cool is if you find this foot of the volcano fast travel point, on this area, uh, right above it is essentially a giant statue, and on top of the head of this giant statue of one of the pals, it's like a bunch of pals together, that was where I got my huge egg that gave me the blaze hell knocked. So 
This is a set egg spot. It might not always be there, but it's worth getting this fast travel point so you can come back here every so often, fly up to the top of the statue and see if the egg is there since this has a chance to be a really, really strong and powerful one. In this area, as you can see, you can just get a bunch of eggs. There's also loads of chests, which will give you things like silver keys, which can then open the locked chests in that area because they're higher level. They require the silver keys, not the actual copper keys. And what's fantastic about that is in the chest, you can get these like handgun schematic, metal helmet schematic at higher rarities than what you can normally craft. So if I actually go to my workbench, if you don't do this first and get a load of schematics, you could save yourself on technology points without having to actually learn them. You can see here, I already learned the makeshift handgun, but now I can make a straight up normal handgun at uncommon rarity without having to spend any of my technology points. And there's additional things that you can get there. Like for example, you can see here, I've got the metal helmet schematic. I already have learned that one. So it's a waste of points because now I can actually make a better one, an uncommon rarity one in my base, thanks to this schematic. So I really recommend that you get a flying mount and you go and adventure towards Mount Obsidian. Again, you can do this around level 15, maybe around level 20. Be cautious, the Powells are very strong, but the amount of eggs that you can get and the absolutely amazing looking Powells that you can get are 100% worth it. So I'll just show you some of these Powells real quick if I deploy them because these are some of my absolute new favorites. Of course, we have the Blaze Hell Knocked. Just look at this guy. He looks absolutely insane. He's immediately going to uh, go logging because he can do that. But he's ginormous. He's just hatched from an egg. He looks absolutely awesome. You can get the saddle for him at a slightly higher level. But level him up. Use him in combat. He's going to be an absolute beast. Of course, you've got the Pyrin Noct, the sort of horse one. Again, this looks really cool. These guys all look really cool in nighttime as well. So I just absolutely love how they look. Then we've got the flying one, the uh, Ragnar Hawk, which again, I cannot wait to get the saddle for this. This guy's going to replace my Nightwing as soon as I can get the saddle to start flying him. And of course, the Bushy, the Yokai Watch reference. I've seen a lot of people love this one online. I didn't know where you get him, but I just got him from an egg from this area. So look at it. Look at how he attacks with his katana. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. But I really just wanted to show this spot off to you guys because I don't see really many people talking about it. You can do this at a low level. And this is some of the best pals that I've actually gotten just by going on a little bit of an explore across, <laughs> across the map and picking up a load of eggs, bringing them back and hatching them. You can see I've got three egg incubators. Now, something to take note of is the huge eggs can take between one and two hours real time in order to hatch, which is obviously... A long wait. You might have to put a million different campfires around it if it's a fire one to keep it warm. If you meet their conditions, it will reduce the time that it takes an egg to hatch. But if you go into your server settings, assuming that you're the host and you don't mind tweaking the settings, you can actually change it to either one hour to hatch or even to zero, which will mean your eggs will instantly hatch. So if you don't like the idea of waiting real time for your eggs to hatch, you can actually change it in the settings. And that's kind of up to you if you want to do that. But that's it pretty much. I just wanted to show you guys this amazing farming area. There's a ton of effigies, a ton of eggs. I'm really, really happy that I've got these, these basically these massive new pals in my party, especially considering you wouldn't normally get them for a long, long time, uh, you know, until your level maybe 30 or 40 before you can reasonably catch these guys or go out and fight them. So if you like the look of these crazy pals, maybe you're playing in a multiplayer server, definitely give it a go and show it off to your friends. This is probably the most fun I've had after going on a little bit of exploring and just finding some amazing pals thanks to the eggs. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this sort of Mount Obsidian along the coast from rock to rock is the place to go for, for a bunch of effigies and for those crazy rare eggs. Put in the comments if you found any amazing egg locations, by the way, or just farming locations or anything that you think is worth sharing. Obviously, I haven't explored more north yet, but if there's an, another amazing area with a bunch of eggs that give some really cool powers, do tell us down below. Share your tips and we can all learn together as a community. But that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching and have a great day.